We're down to the final eight drivers of this redemption tournament. Competition is fierce and mistakes are costly. Welcome back, race fans. Let's get to it. Driving the 2006 Bentley from Gravity Track Grand Prix, the number seven seed, Matt Parisi. Driving the 71 Firebird from UIS Racing, the number five seed, Frank Castle. Laurentown Abercrombie, the number three seed from Spagna Lanes, is driving Alpine A110 Cup. And driving the Corvette C8 in yellow finish from Aces High Racing, the number two seed, Bill Pierce, Spy Dude. They'll still be chased by these big rigs trying to make their deliveries. Good luck, drivers. Let's race. Parisi and Castle in the front row. Parisi, Spy Dude, Castle, single file into turn two. Parisi sideways, Spy Dude passing, Castle closing turn three, Spy Dude floors it, the blue truck is closing, and Parisi is second, Castle is third, Abercrombie is fourth. Scoring is five points for first, three for second, two for third, one for last, a DNF is a zero, drivers get a bonus point for every truck they beat to the finish line, top two advance to the next round. So Spy Dude shows some stealth as he takes lap one, Parisi second with bonus points, Castle and Abercrombie, third and fourth. Parisi and Spy Dude in the front row. Spy Dude, Parisi, Abercrombie, Castle, single file into turn two. Spy Dude separating, Abercrombie battling Parisi into turn three. Green truck coming up fast. Spy Dude straight down the middle. Takes a green truck, look at Parisi's photo finish. And let's take a look. I'm calling that a tie. And a tie goes to the driver, Parisi. He will get the bonus point. So this is actually Spy Dude Part 2. He almost ran the table in a previous tournament. He and Parisi separating from Castle and Abercrombie. Abercrombie and Spy Dude in the front row. Spy Dude, Abercrombie, Parisi, Castle, single file into turn two. And man, he's got that yellow Corvette dialed in nicely. No answer from Abercrombie, Castle and Parisi battling. Castle flips. Spy Dude takes it, Abercrombie and Parisi. And there's Castle. He almost made it on his roof. So Spy Dude has punched his ticket to the finals. Can he run the table? Lewis Allen did it a few tournaments ago. Parisi's four headed Abercrombie, and Castle is nine points back. Castle and Abercrombie in the front row. Abercrombie, Castle, Spy Dude, Parisi, single file into turn two. Castle flips again, Parisi passes, Spy Dude passes, turn three. Spy Dude passes Parisi, smacks Abercrombie for the finish, and a perfect series is done. Awesome job, Spy Dude. And there's Castle on his roof again. So Parisi, also with an impressive score, he'll join Spy Dude in the finals, but special recognition on a perfect series for Spy Dude. Driving the 69 Dodge Coronet in gray finish from Hot Box Match Wheels, the number eight seed Storm Trooperson. Driving the Ion Motor Stretcher from Hillbilly Racing, the number six seed, Dale Taylor. Number four seed, Annie Crowhurst from Queen Bee Racing is driving the 56 Aston Martin in gray finish and driving the 89 Porsche 944 from Team Cogspeed, the number one seed, McKenna Ritz. Trooperson and Taylor in the front row. Trooperson, Ritz, Taylor, Crowhurst, single file into turn two. Taylor flips, Trooperson storms on, Ritz chasing turn three, and it's all Trooperson coming down to the finish, then it's Ritz and Crowhurst. And Taylor back there, Taylor slid down, almost made it on his roof to the finish line. So Trooperson storms the victory, Ritz not too far behind, Crowhurst third, and a DNF for Taylor. Trooperson and Ritz in the front row. Ritz, Crowhurst, Trooperson into turn two. Trooperson flips, blocking Taylor, and the trucks are road raging, ramming Taylor, Trooperson, Crowhurst, and Ritz, and leaving the blue truck as the lone survivor. And there's just carnage with the cars on their roof, and Crowhurst over there off the track. So on this replay, Trooperson flips in front of Taylor, the trucks plow both cars through down the back stretch. Ritz and Crowhurst see that in the rear view. They get spooked and lose control and take each other out and the trucks just bulldoze on down the road. Well, there's no change to the score. 
Although I guess we could donate 7 honorary points to the blue truck for being the only finisher. Crowhurst and Ritz in the front row. And it's Ritz leading out a group into turn 2. And now pulling away, way ahead of second place Crowhurst. Turn 3, drifting a bit, comes across the, whoops, comes across the finish line and takes it. Crowhurst and Trooperson slides on his roof for third place. Taylor fourth. So unfortunately, Taylor doesn't have the points to pass through. The battle is between Ritz, Trooperson, and Crowhurst. Those three are separated by three points going into this final lap. Taylor and Crowhurst will start in the front row. Taylor and Crowhurst in the front row. And it's Crowhurst leading with the green truck hot on her tail into turn two. Still closing on her bumper into turn three. Smacks her spinning, but still holding on. 180, and she takes it. Then Ritz, and we lost Taylor and Trooperson back there. There's uh, uh, Taylor, and, uh, and there's Trooperson. Well, move over, gentlemen, and let the ladies strut on through. Annie Crowhurst and McKenna Ritz are advancing to the finals. And here we are. We got an eight lap series to crown the winner. Driving the 89 Porsche 944 from Team Cogspeed, you just saw her, the number four seed McKenna Ritz. Driving the 56 Aston Martin in gray finish from Queen Bee Racing, you just saw her too, the number three seed Annie Crowhurst. Number two seed Matthew Parisi from Gravity Track Grand Prix is driving the 2006 Bentley. And from Aces High Racing, driving the Corvette C8 in yellow finish, the number one seed who just ran the table, Spy Dude. Now the top two drivers here will head to a grudge match against Bolo Brown and Kevin Rose, the top two of the main tournament. I'll let the drivers decide that. Let's race. Ritz and Crowhurst in the front row. And all four drivers jammed up into turn two. Coming around, still tightly packed on the back stretch, turn three, here comes the blue truck. Ritz flips, but still sliding. And the blue truck is barreling on through. Crowhurst takes it, Ritz on a roof, and Spy Dude behind the truck. So Crowhurst draws first blood in this very long series. This was tight. No obvious weaknesses in this group. Ritz and Spy Dude in the front row. Spy Dude sideways blocking Parisi and Ritz into turn two. Ritz skating to the lead. Spy Dude and Crowhurst trailing. Here come the angry trucks, turn three. Ritz floors it with the 180. And Spy Dude, Crowhurst, and Parisi. Another tight finish with Ritz leading Crowhurst by one. Spy Dude five back and Parisi six back. Parisi and Spy Dude in the front row. Spy Dude, Ritz leading into turn two. Spy Dude pulling ahead, we've seen that before. Turn three, and straight down the middle, Ritz is spinning for second place, then Parisi and Crowhurst. So with that win, Spy Dude pulls to a tie with Crowhurst, both three behind the leader, Ritz. Parisi needs a win to keep up, he's seven back. Crowhurst and Parisi in the front row. Parisi leading into turn two, coming around, flips on his side, still sliding, can he ride himself? No, he flips on his roof, Crowhurst trying to navigate around him, and finally does, she comes in for the win, Ritz is coming in second, and then there's the blue truck, smacks Parisi I guess, and there's Parisi right there, and we lost Spy Dude on his roof as well down the back stretch. So here's that replay of Parisi. He flips on, a, on this driver's side and slides down trying to right himself and can't quite make it, ends up on his roof instead of his wheels. So at the halfway point, Crowhurst closes to within one of Ritz. Those DNFs really hurt Parisi and Spy Dude. They're further back. Ritz and Crowhurst in the front row. Crowhurst, Ritz, Spy Dude all spinning into turn two. And Annie's on a breakaway. The trucks are all over Spy Dude, Parisi, and Ritz. Turn three. And Annie straight down the middle for the win. Then Parisi, Ritz, and Spy Dude with the trucks. And Spy Dude missed out on that bonus point. That green truck got him. So back to back wins. And Crowhurst jumps to a two point lead over Ritz. Spy Dude and Parisi are way back. 
They'll need a string of victories to pull this one off. Ritz and Spy Dude in the front row. Ritz and Parisi leading into turn two. Ritz sideways, Parisi passes into turn three. And here comes Ritz battling back, but Parisi holds her off for the win. And then there's Spy Dude and Crowhurst third and fourth. So Ritz and Crowhurst are now all tied up. Parisi pulls within nine, Spy Dude's 11 back. Tensions are high with the ladies. Two more laps. Parisi and Spy Dude in the front row. Spy Dude, Parisi, Ritz back into turn two. Spy Dude sideways. Here comes Parisi. Outside pass at turn three. Still leading. Coming to the finish. Ooh, gets on his side but slides to the win. Then Spy Dude, Crowhurst, and tragedy for Ritz. A DNF on her roof out of turn three. Three. So Crowhurst opens up a four point lead over Ritz. Back to back wins for Parisi brings him within six of Crowhurst. Now remember, the top two will head to the grudge match. Spy Dude just doesn't have the points. A tough series for the number one seed. Crowhurst and Parisi in the front row. Parisi, Crowhurst, Ritz, Spy Dude single file into turn two. Crowhurst closing, inside pass on Parisi, turn three, still pulling away, and slides in for the win and the Redemption Championship. Ritz third and Spy Dude fourth. So with four lap wins and no DNFs, all hail to the Queen Annie Crowhurst of Queen Bee Racing. You are the champion of the Slingshot 360 Redemption Rally Tournament. Thank you so much for watching, race fans. Make sure you check out that grudge match coming up next. Just click like and subscribe for immediate updates. Check us out on Facebook at Slingshot360 Diecast Racing. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you at the races.